Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics coming at you again. We are heading back out to Texas Aquatics again. He just got a massive, massive shipment. The biggest shipment that I've ever seen him get in. Thousands and thousands of fish. So we're gonna have to take this thing and break it up into two parts so it's not so ridiculously long. Don't forget guys, in four days now or three days or whenever this thing actually airs, uh, Aquashella will be here in Chicago. Uh, hope to see each and every one of you guys there. So let's go ahead and let's head out to Texas Aquatics so you can see all the amazing fish that he got in this week. These are real pretty rainbow fish out of New Guinea or New Zealand? New Guinea. Uh, they found it, um, they found this, it's a real, it's a small rainbow fish, but it's not a, not really a dwarf. A lot of pretty red and blue on them. Congo Tetra. This is the only Congo Tetra in the hobby. There's about 10 different Congo Tetras, but this is about the only one that has made it in the hobby. This is the one where the male gets the real pretty long uh, fins and a real nice uh, fluorescent body. But you see the real pretty long fins on, on the males. Are they long fin like that in the, in the wild? Yes. Males are, females are not. Males have nice pretty fins, females don't. Okay, here we got some frontoses. These are the, the frontoses out of Lake Tanganyika. These are really taking off. People love the frontoses, but take, they take forever to grow up. Are these like the seven lines? No, these are the regular, regular cheap six, six strapper Burundis. We're gonna put half of them in here. See the glow sharks in there. See how they've done with the glow sharks? You got red and green and uh, pink glow sharks. Harlequin Rasmoris, these are the ones that are shrimp safe out of Asia. I can't lose the stuff. It's a, a keyhole cichlid. They look like the little cichlids out of South America uh, that look like they have a keyhole. They don't get real big and they're real mild. They have a little spot on top of them that looks like a keyhole. Take those, take those. Got some uh, pearl grommies. These are real pretty uh, grommies that have little pearl dots on them. These are ballast sharks. These are real, real mild silver, silver sharks with black fins. They get fairly decent size is the only drawback to them. They get about eight inches long but they're much milder than most of the other sharks you see in the hobby. That's the only problem, people want big ones of these and they don't transport well. Um, Madagascar rainbow fish. And this is, this is what they sell as the Madagascar rainbow fish. And there again, there's about 10 different Madagascar, a rainbow fish in Madagascar. This is the only one in the, that is made into the hobby. And Madagascar is having major issues still, so. You may not ever see the other ones. Well, that's pretty black and red. Rainbow sharks, this is one of the other sharks. It's not quite as bad as like the red tail shark, but still pretty, fairly ornery. About, get about six inches long. We're not dark with uh, dark bodies with red fins. Some people call them Red fin sharks, I call them, I always call them rainbow sharks. Oh, these are black sharks, I'm sorry. These are the black sharks. These are the ones that get pretty big, about a foot and a half long. Uh, solid jet black, uh, can hang with just about anybody uh, when they get some size to them. Um, Albano marble self in plecos. These are a real cool pleco. Uh, it gets a lot of color, real, real colorful, like pinkish orangey color, especially if you put it on in the pond. Put them on the pond and they come in glowing in the dark. 
Uh, the only problem is they get big, eight to ten inches long. Uh, rainbow sharks. These are the rainbow sharks. Black ones with red fins. About five, six inches long. They, they, they're not, they're not near as more, near as aggressive as the red tails, uh, but they will jack with each other a little bit. Ten full barbs. These are real cool fish. The other fish for your. Uh, bigger community fish with uh, African cichlids and some of the bigger Central and South American cichlids. They get about 10 inches long, so they'll, they'll hold their own against the bigger fish. Although a buddy of mine says, you can't put them in there, they're silver. They, they, they don't, the, they, his fish don't like silver fish. <laughs> or they like them too much or something. You see the gold ones in the, the gold ones in there also. Fire red shrimp. It's like somebody souped up some cherry shrimp. That white pad really makes you stand up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Those do have some good red color. Yeah, it's super red. You can't trust what anybody says when they oh, yeah, the, call uh, them a certain color. Yeah, the, especially whenever, they, whenever they're discount prices. <laughs> Penguin tetras, like little hockey sticks. Got some uh, blue velvet shrimp in that. Well, these are a good price. They're almost no blue. Live and learn. Buyer beware. Lemon Tetris? No. Because you, you never know what you, what you run into. I remember going to Chicago one time. Um, there, was a, there was a big fish show in Chicago. And Chicago really overdoes their fish shows. But um, the hotel had overbooked all the conference rooms. So they had a, they had a big graduation when we were there. And so they said, we got the, they set up a, up a big tent in the, in the, in the field up front, you know, they made a big courtyard, big, big tent, gorgeous, big old tent. Hottest day of the year, had to be like 95 degrees out there, hotter than, but they put an AC in there, no problem. AC didn't work. People just left in droves. I bought a lot of fish that day. <laughs> okay, these are the surfer lotions. I think these are a, a loach type and not a botia type. Really mild, get some pretty decent size to them, but they're supposed to be real good cleaners, they don't bother anything. Real cool pattern to them too. But I bore these for like four or four times, it's the first time they've shown up. But they're not a real botia, they don't have little spikes. They're more of a loach type. OB peacocks. This is one of the other ones that people have hybrided out so they get the all nice splotchy look to them. All the reds and blues and pinks and purples. These are the Strata botillas, so they're not pretty striped ones. They got some real distinct stripes. One of the smaller botillas, uh, only about three, three and a half inches long. Real mild. Take care of your snail problems, though. This is uh, the Giardini or Australian arowana. They um, don't get quite as big, aren't quite as jumpy, but are a lot more hardy than the regular silver arowanas. But they don't like other arowanas, so they're by themselves. Yeah. 
Even when they're small, they don't. Nice big son of a bitch. You end up with one. When they're really, really big, maybe. But then you're looking at a, instead of killing a hundred dollar fish, you kill a five hundred dollar fish. But they don't bother the goldfish. If they can't eat it, they'll leave it alone. These are the red Beckford's pencil fish. Was another fish I've tried to order for a long time, and they, they finally showed up. They should be. These are captive bred, so they should be near as sensitive as the wild caught pencil fish. But they're like little tail standers. Silver dollars. So they're all just staple. They, they're real cool. These are not silvery silver dollars. The ones you get out of uh, Florida aren't quite as silvery. Singapore grows up ones like this. Florida grows up ones that look different. And I have no idea why you think they could grow anything they want. But ones out of Florida always look the spots. Ones out of far, the Far East always have real nice silver ones. These are the Rose Line Sharks. Real nice pretty ones. These are small still, so you're not seeing the bright red line through them. But they'll get it. Okay, more botillas. These are the polka dot botillas. These are what they call the Kubitai botillas. These are out of Burma. This is one of the ones that they found in Burma once they got, can go back into Burma you know, a few years back. Burma was closed for about 30 years. Because of war? Or? Yeah, whatever. People shoot nasty, you don't want to go in there. Civil war and nasty things happening. Uh, Burma's still real bad communists, but they're, they're not they're letting people come in. They need the cash. If people figured out that, that you know, we can let people come in if they spend money. That's what Cuba's doing, too. And that's why, that's why Cuba's, they, they try to limit what, what can go to Cuba because so much of the humanitarian aid isn't making it where it should be going. Of course. These are the uh, regular red tail sharks. These are the ones that are a little bit ornery, so you got to be careful with them. They don't like each other or anything else. Okay, we've got claw notches here. These are some bigger ones. The bigger the claw notes, the, more, the better they do for you. Did you get the picture of the great big ones we got in? Yeah. You did like them or something? Well, we got, we got four of them that came in, but we're not going to cut them loose because they're going out the door, but I don't know if you want to see them in the bag. Oh, no, I didn't see those. I thought you meant it the previous oh, time. This is what they call big climbers. But they're going away. The size of the tail and everything. Well, there you go. There is all the fish that he got in. What an amazing haul this was for sure. Tons and tons of fish. Again, this is part one. Be sure and stay tuned in a couple of days for part two. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.